Tonight I'm going to do an overnight demo and a very early morning check-in review on this. I'm really excited about it actually. It's the OEA Anti-Wrinkle Silicone Patches. This is going to be fun. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. And for those who don't know me, I'm Mary, I'm 49 years old, and I love experimenting with skincare products, devices, methods, anything that's gonna make me look as young as I feel. So today it's all about silicone patches. Um, and I've actually been interested in trying this for quite a while. You've probably seen a few of these floating around on social media. And um, they are silicone patches. Um, and these ones are by OEA and they are 100% medical grade silicone. And the question is, why do you bother with silicone? And it's really kind of interesting. These little patches will go on various parts of our body, but my body today. And by putting the patches on, what happens is it sort of creates a microclimate under your skin. So it keeps the oxygen from, from entering the skin and therefore it draws the moisture to the skin from other parts of your body. So it's this sort of little oxygen hydration party going on directly under the location of each of these silicone patches. So the idea is to help plump up the wrinkly bits. <laughs> I'm 49, I have a few wrinkly bits. Now it could be a lot worse, but they're just enough that I'm really excited to give this a try. So wrinkles come from a lot of different places. You know, it can be our eating habits, it can be stress, it can be lack of sleep, and it can be just plain old age. Because what happens is our body stops producing collagen and elastin as regularly, and dehydrated skin that's lacking that moisture and hydration just, you know, it gets tight. So the idea behind these and everything that I have seen and read so far is that they're actually, it stuff really works. Now, it's not gonna work long-term. It's gonna be a real burst of hydration, but the idea, or so I'm told, is that the more you use this over time, the more that it helps. So it was originally created for um, by doctors for patients that were burn victims and had scarring because the surface scars and burned tissue was so damaged that by covering it up, it allowed the skin underneath to repair. So this stuff has been used for, for quite a while, so I'm, I'm quite keen to get started on it. Now, I've never tried this. I mean, the thing is still sealed, so we're gonna give this a go. I don't usually do first impressions, but I just haven't had the time to get to it, so tonight's going to be the first. So, assuming I can get this guy <laughs> open, um, I do know that the first thing it says is start with a clean face, um, which for me is a very difficult thing to do because I am a tretinoin, um, ceramide, hyaluronic acid, antioxi antioxidant kind of girl, so to have naked skin going to bed makes me feel naked and dry. But anyway, hopefully that's gonna solve this. So what this comes with is a couple of different pieces. This is just the kit that I purchased. Um, one is to go designed to go around your neck. One is designed to go here in the decolletage. We have one that's gonna go over the forehead, two that go under the eyes, and two bonus guys that are gonna go here for the smile lines. So, um, hopefully this will be easy. And then the plan is, I go to sleep in it. And I think that one of the added bonuses to this, figure out how to open them, um, is that by sleeping with them on, the idea of the tautness that it keeps on our skin will also reduce wrinkles. Now, sort of side sleeping, and there are lots of wrinkles that are caused at night when, when we sleep. You know, our face on the pillow, um, sleeping on our side. I discovered after years of side sleeping that I started to get these terrible lines in my chest. And about a year ago, I started training myself to sleep on my back. It is not easy. Um, but for the most part, I've been able to accomplish it with a couple of, uh, a couple of tricks, which if you're interested, I can tell you about sometime. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this on the eyes, okay? So I have completely dry skin. It's really, really sticky. I'm gonna start by applying this right under, really, really close under the eye. Wow, it is really thick. Really thick, really sticky. And I guess that's good because we don't want this baby to go anywhere while we're sleeping. Okay, let me kind of push that in. My other half who's watching film this thinks I'm insane, by the way. <laughs> okay, this one's gonna go on my forehead. I have a, quite a few wrinkles here, by the way. This is where I'm starting to see things form. Um, so I'd be delighted if I could see some, some action there. And in fairness, same with the crow's feet, but they're not as positioned as high like, oh yeah, maybe they are. Maybe that's gonna work. So I'm really pushing that in, okay? Now these I'm gonna use on my laugh lines, which, you know, I'm, 
let's face it, we got a few going on there. 49, you gotta love it. I probably should have stopped with my face in fairness because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to speak, but gotta keep going. Okay, and put those there. Okay. They're not exactly straight, but Okay, okay. So what that leaves are the ones to go around my neck. Okay. Oops. Oh yeah, that's sticky, all right. Okay, you can see those sort of neck creases there. Okay, let's hope I wake up tomorrow and those are gone. that um, these can be reused up to 15 times. So you take them off, you rinse them under cold water and you let them dry. And then all you need to do is put them right back on these plastic sheets and put them back in the container. Okay, and then this, lots of tiny little wrinkles there. That's it. So now I'm gonna go off to sleep time. Um, I'll let you know how we get on. See you soon. Night. Hi guys. Okay, so it's 7 a.m. Just woken up, having slept with all these bad boys on all night, and now we're going to see how well it worked. Um, it was a bit strange sleeping with it, I have to say. It was a bit odd, because there was a lot going on. There was a, like if you pull your skin, at least that holds your skin here, it comes off pretty easily. Let's see. Feels pretty soft. Well, no, I wouldn't say soft. It feels taut. I can say that. I'm not sure if you can see any difference. Maybe. Maybe. I'm going to hold here and pull this off. Okay, now I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a difference there. Am I? Or is it just in my mind? Maybe I'm not awake yet, I'm not really sure. Let's get all these off and see. Now again, what I'm gonna do is uh, rinse these off with water and leave them to dry, uh, and then put them back onto the plastic. Uh, you know, I actually think I do. I need to go back and look at the before and afters to be perfectly honest myself to see. This is the one that I was really interested in. Oh! <laughs> Oops. Put that back up. It definitely looks smoother to me. It feels smoother. Now this actually feels a little bit moist more than these. I feel, um, these definitely feel dry. Not like super dry, but this actually still feels a bit moist considering how long these have been on. Let's take off this guy. Oh, I think that looks a bit smoother. What do you think? It does, doesn't it? I actually think there might be something to this. Um, my day's starting a little bit better already. I don't know. I'm kind of digging it. Hmm. I'm a bit surprised. That everything looks a little plumper, smoother. Um, ooh, I think Mama likes it. <laughs> okay, this is a pleasant surprise. Okay, so what I would say is wearing all of that at one time, it did feel at certain points of the evening that I was wearing armor <laughs> because there was kind of something everywhere. So what I will probably do is experiment with this um, just interchangeably and probably not using everything in one go. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with how this looks, actually. So maybe I would do the forehead and the neck. 
or maybe the eyes and the chest. You know, I'm gonna tinker around with it. Now, the one question I had was about product usage. Your skin has to be completely dry, otherwise it won't stick. And that's the basic thing. However, you know, I'm wondering if I wash my face early at seven o'clock at night and I do at the very least my tretinoin and maybe a little hyaluronic acid, something, and then put this on at 10, 10, 30, 11, will there be enough time in between um, for my skin to dry? So I have put this question to um, to the guys at OEA and I'm waiting a response. So once I hear confirmation of that, I'll make sure that I put that information into the description bar. Kind of put an update in there. To, um, so I would hope to learn that in the next day or two. Okay, great news. Uh, I heard from OEA just this morning who confirmed that yes, you can actually do your whole skincare routine, whatever you want to throw at it, as long as it's dried. You need to give yourself enough time between putting all that good stuff on and putting on the patches. So my plan next time will be do my face around 7, 7.30, get all the stuff off with the double cleanse, do my full routine, which is quite extensive. And by the way, I can put a link to that up here if you've got some time. Um, Otherwise, you, you just leave it leave it be and let it sink in and give yourself a few hours, come back at 10 o'clock and put the patches on and you should be good to go. Great news, so happy, enjoy. But I have to say, I like the results. Does this look smoother? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm getting it, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. uh, at seven o'clock in the morning from a bitter, bitter man who does not want to be a bit bizarre. Um, I think it looks great. Okay, I think I'm digging this, so luckily, I got 14 more uses out of this to be sure. And I think that if it delivered results like this regularly, I probably would, would repurchase um, because I think you're getting a good bang for your buck. Yeah, I'm kind of excited about this. 49, 49 year old me goes, yay. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, maybe give it a, give it a go yourself. I think there's there's definitely something in this, and also considering you're not actually putting anything on your skin, your skin is doing all of this repairing on its own. Um, I think there's something really nice in that too. Um, so thank you for joining me today. Uh, if you have any suggestions or any comments or any feedback, please leave that in the uh, in the comments below. Um, and if you like what you saw, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. I hope you will give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so that you'll know every time I upload a new video, which I try to do every week. So I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks. Already. This is not good. Okay. Sometimes it takes me a while to get going, doesn't it? Okay.